On a rainy day there's nothing better than getting out my favourite candles and the aroma just fills the studio, it's so beautiful. And this one is a brand new candle off of a friend so I'm really excited to use it. The flavour is Rustic Spruce which I'm hoping will give a really nice wintry vibe today. Today I'm going to be painting a stag in watercolour. I don't do much watercolour paintings but especially when the weather is really wet outside I just feel like watercolour really suits the mood of today. First I've drawn out my sketch lightly in pencil and I am using a reference photo for this. If you want a good place to use reference photos, pexels or pixabay I have some great photographs that have a free to use copyright so there won't be any copyright issues with them. I want it to be sort of very playful, so I'm going to be using all different sorts of colours, but I also want it to have sort of like an abstract, watery feel to it. I didn't really have a plan with this painting, I'm kind of just playing, which feels really nice not to have a plan, um, because generally I'm not a planner when it comes to paintings but I usually have sort of an idea of what I want it to look like but today is a complete experimentation I genuinely wasn't sure if it would end up going in the bin at the end of the day <laughs> but then I think that's what's really fun about art is that you just get to experiment play have fun without those worries of it being a masterpiece at the end of it because I think that just adds a certain pressure that really takes away the enjoyment So here I'm using a mixture of watercolours. The palette on my left is filled with random watercolour tubes that I've collected over the years. And then I have my Mission Gold watercolour palette at the top. I'd love to ask your opinion actually. When you guys enjoy a watercolour, do you prefer seeing really intense, vibrant colours in a watercolour or more soft hues? Because I feel like watercolour does soft hues really well, I feel like that is its strong point. But for some reason I cannot help but just go straight in for the vibrant colours and I guess that's just what I'm drawn to as a person. Um, but I'd really love to hear what you guys prefer. I just find it really interesting seeing what different people are drawn to. So my process with this painting was very much adding and then taking away. So I'm adding layers on top of layers and then sometimes I will flood that with water and then use a tissue or some kitchen roll to gently just blot some of that colour away. So it's more for me it was very intuitive and going along as I went. And then I always go through that period where I'm like, oh, I hate this painting, it isn't working. And I almost have like a little tantrum inside myself. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm never painting ever again, which I feel like happens so often to me. Um, I guess I just hate that feeling of like putting everything into something, all your emotions, all your hard work and or your energy into something and then it not working it is so frustrating and I'm sure a lot of you guys know exactly what I mean um, but then I got to the stage where I started really liking the painting and I envisioned these droplets 
to really go with the rainy day theme again and so I put some paint and some water at the top of the painting and gently tapped my painting so that the droplets ran down and they sort of carry that colour in with them which then binds to the paper and it really creates a pretty look. It almost looks like there's little lights dripping from the antlers so it's very very pretty effect. I've been really inspired to use watercolour more recently and I think a lot of that is down to watching Skillshare videos. There are so many watercolourists on Skillshare that when I watch them and their work it really just inspires me and I'm like oh I'm so excited I want to get out my paints. So Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative skills not just painting there's photography and website design, illustration, all sorts of different areas. The premium membership which is less than $10 a month gives you unlimited access to all the classes and because Skillshare is kindly kindly sponsoring this video you guys can sign up with the link in the description box and get a two month free trial to see how you like it and give it a go. And I will pop in the description box some of my favourite watercolour classes if you guys also want to get inspired by watercolours. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing the process of this painting come together. It was really really fun and experimental and I definitely want to do more of these videos. So if you've joined our family by subscribing then make sure you hit that notification bell so that you guys know as soon as I upload. Thank you guys so much for your amazing support and have a beautiful week. Thanks guys, bye!